Did I switch to the creaky chair? What's up guys, Lou here back with another video and today I'm checking out probably the coolest iPhone camera cases that I've ever seen. These are legitimately professional looking. They have a dedicated shutter button and a huge array of lens add-ons and various grips. This might be the most advanced way you could shoot photos with that smartphone. In this case, the iPhone 6 or 6S. It is from a company called Bitplay. It's called the Snap Pro Professional Camera Case. Plus, I've got a bunch of lenses over here to try out. There's the case itself, as well as an extended grip. Similar setup here. In this case, though, you're adding a leather strap as well as a wooden grip. Look at that thing. And you guys know my relationship with wood. You can see how you install your phone, physical shutter button, two types of grips so it's easy to, to hold it in portrait mode or landscape. Tripod compatible, so there is a tripod mount. Up to six lenses you can add to this. And of course, with the thumb rest, uh, a firmer grip, which the ladies tell me is very important. So this is a quick and easy way to kind of upgrade your social photography, let's say. Stuff that you intend on sharing immediately. And of course, that's very easy to do on an iPhone and less easy to do on a dedicated camera. Look at that guy. Jack, look at that guy. I mean, now you, you feel, you put that baby in there, you feel like a, you're the real deal for a minute. Instant real deal. A single lens, but two functionalities. So it does wide angle or macro and it feels pretty solid actually. So this is the uh, the front and back cap here. If you take the standard black grip, you're gonna get a tripod mount included on there. See that, Jack? Fancy wooden one does not have that. So you gotta make a call there. A standard strap and then the hot shot leather strap for the boss players. You know who you are. It looks like it's just simply two screws on the back side here. Ooh so natural, organic. I even kind of like their little mini screwdriver here. I can think of other uses for it on other devices. We're in business now. The wide angle. As I said, it's versatile because you can actually flick the front, spin it, and turn it into a macro lens as well. Now the thumb part slides in here. Cool, all right, so that's optional. Okay, so we're gonna go down and then snap it in. Ooh, now the thumb grip goes in. Oh, yes. Wow, I really underestimated the importance of a thumb grip. Tiny bit concerned that might slide out. Let's see here. Yeah, oh, there. Yeah, well, let's open the camera app here. Oh yeah, we are totally wide angling it right now. Whoa, very wide. Oh, how about this little speaker from the last video? You can see how much bigger the field of view is here. Pull that part off. Now it becomes a macro lens. Whoa. We're talking like tiny little fibers and whatnot on that speaker. Wow, look, we're right inside that micro USB there. It's kind of important to mention that your other buttons are still available to you. You've still got access to your uh, hold switch, volume up, volume down. Oh, wow. The mechanism they have here is actually lifting up on that when I press here because the iPhone maps the shutter to the volume down. Tell me if you see it move. That's how they navigated the fact that the volume down is the way you take a, you, you have a physical shutter button on the iPhone. They sent a bunch of other lens adapters as well. Look at that, they're all in the frame. <laughs> Perfect. Listen, I like wide angles. You're, we're talking, this is a wide angle. You see me, wide angle. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a wide angle lens. Um, polarizer's gonna cut down on reflections if you're shooting uh, out in bright light uh, against reflective surfaces. Full frame fisheye, substantially more distorted fisheye type situation. Fisheye plus macro, ultra wide plus macro, and then a telephoto. This is zoom. What do we have here? Three times zoom. Let's try this one out. Decent chunk of glass there. The zoom lens, and if I go ahead and unscrew it, being very careful, that's without the zoom. So, wide angle, see? That's your standard iPhone field of view. You can imagine being at an event, taking these cool photos, videos, 
using these adapters that other people with iPhones can't and sharing it immediately. So now you're you're a reporter now. You're April O'Neil. If you don't know who that is, get your Google out. Ninja Turtles. FTW. Don't ever grow up, Jack. Hello, you've reached Leslie. Can I get your attendance to telephone number, please? Yeah, I, yeah, you know what? It's uh, I got the wrong number. Okay. I apologize. Sorry.